Hello everyone, this lecture is about uh, program testing strategies and methods. So program needs to be rigorously tested before they are released. Tests uh, begin from the moment they are written. They should be documented to show that the program is robust and ready for general use. There needs to be a test strategy set out in the analysis stage of the program development life cycle, showing an overview of the testing uh, required to meet the requirements specified. This shows how and when the program is to be tested. Uh, there are several formal uh, methods of testing uh, used to ensure the program is robust and works to the standards required. Although there is a testing stage in the program development life cycle, testing is uh, in some form occurs at every stage uh, from design to maintenance. During the program design stage, uh, uh, pseudocodes uh, are written. This can be tested using a simple dry run in which the developer works through the program or module from a program manually and documents the results using a trace table. Then comes the walkthrough. A walkthrough is a formalized version of a dry run using predefined test cases. This is where another uh, member of the development team independently dry runs the pseudocode or developer takes, them, uh, uh, takes the team a members through the dry run process. This is often done as uh, a demonstration. During the program uh, development and testing, each module is tested uh, as set out in the test plan. Uh, several uh, types of uh, test data needs to be used during the testing. Normal test data uh, that is to be accepted by a program and is used to show that the program is working as expected. This is normal. Extreme test data that is on the limit of that uh, accepted by a program. For example, For example, uh, when testing a validation rule such as number should be greater than or equal to 12 and number is less than or equal to 32, the extreme test data would be 12 at the lower limit and 32 at the upper limit. Both these values should be accepted. Boundary test data. Boundary test data that is uh, on the limit of that accepted uh, by the program or data that is just outside the limit of that rejected by the program. For example, when the testing, when testing a validation rule such as number is greater than or equal to 12 and number is less than or equal to 32, the boundary test data would be 12 and 11 at the lower limit and 32 and 33 at the upper limit. 12 and 32 should be accepted, 11 and 32 should be rejected. Uh, as the program is being developed, uh, the following types of testing are used. First of them is white box testing. White box testing is the detailed testing of how each procedure works. This involves testing the structure and the logic of every path through a program module. Black box testing. Tests, um, black box testing tests a module's input and output and the, the interaction between all of the modules. Integration testing. Integration testing is the testing of any separately written modules to ensure that they work together during the testing phase of the program development lifecycle. If any of the modules have not been written yet, this can include stop testing, which makes use of dummy modules for testing the procedure. I'll discuss stub testing towards the end of this. So uh, when the program has been completed, it is tested as a whole. So that is first alpha testing. Alpha testing is used first. Uh, the completed or nearly completed program is tested in house by the development team itself. 
beta testing. It is, it is then used on the second stage. The completed program is tested by a small group of users before, before it is generally released. These are the intended users which, which, which are using it uh, without any uh, predefined test data. Whereas alpha testing is always, always done using predefined test data as we discussed with the walkthroughs. Then comes acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is then used for the completed program to prove uh, to the customer that it works as required in the environment in which it will be used. Now comes the stuff testing. Stuff testing is uh, actually uh, when you develop uh, a user interface, you might wish to test it before uh, you have implemented all the facilities you can write a stub for each procedure as I'll, I, I, I'll describe it now. The procedure body can only contain an output statements to acknowledge that the call was made. Each option the user chooses in the main program will uh, call the relevant procedure. What does it mean? It means that let's suppose this program here here is having a menu of seven or eight items. All right, out of these uh, seven or eight items, you can see the uh, relevant uh, procedures are these. This is the first procedure which is being called when user chooses number one by calling this procedure over here. So it means that every option is related with a procedure. So let's say these procedures were being written by different uh, teams or programmers, and these procedures are not always of same length. They are of uh, different lengths. So sometimes few of the procedures, because of their uh, size and the complexity, they, they are developed uh, before others, and rest are developed afterwards. So when the procedures are being uh, sent and alpha testing or the integration testing is required to be done. So what uh, the project leader does, he actually writes just the stubs. The stubs are the procedures with or functions or subroutines which do not have functionality in it, but just an output statement that shows that uh, this procedure was called up while the program integration uh, or overall working was being checked. So let's say, we ran this program and we opted for option six. So in option six, the program visited, uh, but actually, hold on. We have to hold the program there so that uh, we could see this output from the stuff. Console dot read key now when, when we will call this a stub it will actually stop and show us that it was visited otherwise it was just showing and getting out back again console dot read key now so need to understand that uh, from this point onward truncating four five six and seven are stubs and one two and three are properly written program so if i call three and enter a sentence with my name this should work because the, uh, the subroutine is developed but if i opt for six and uh, it would say that anagram stub is visited so as soon as anagram code will be developed by the programmers it will be sent and this stub will be replaced similarly we have got another st stub isolate type stub this is visited so stubs are just to complete the whole environment and interface so that program could be checked for its integration rather than for the uh, logic of the program so that was the stub testing and the, this completes the program testing uh, uh, lecture i hope that you would have understood it better please go through your books and uh, try to solve few questions this is uh, uh, not particularly important in terms that it would be bearing any uh, high marks, but there are uh, questions, although bearing uh, short marks, but they uh, show up on and off. 
So thank you very much. And if there would be any question, please post it. Take care.